What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of FS Detail Garage. We got the uh, quarter midget below me here and we have the uh, Hillard clutch. Um, you guys probably seen the uh, story that I did about it and uh, that was a quick deal talking about how it broke and uh, the uh, bushing here on the inner part which they sell as a replacement the end of it broke off with a snap ring goes. So that was what I thought was the actual failure. Um, once I actually ordered that and I was going to reassemble it, I then noticed that the actual sprocket gear here on the um, drum had broken the teeth off as well. So we had to order a new one of those. So two failures on it. I was not happy at all with that considering the uh, max torque clutch uh, just finally started engaging when it shouldn't. Other than that, it's taken all kinds of abuse and then this thing broke really quick. But I will say, this engages way better than the Max Torque and seemed to actually hold the power of the Predator Ghost motor. So, it, all that seemed good. Other than that, it just like broke apart real quick. So, I was just gonna show you guys how to put it back together and then um, show you guys putting it on the cart and then we'll go for a rip in the cart and see how it reacts now. Once this one fails, we'll end up going with the, uh, I bought another Max Torque one, um, and we'll end up just putting that on there. But I um, figured might as well just put the replacement pieces on, see what we can do for the moment in time. So you will need a pair of uh, snap ring pliers. You can see how they engage. They're gonna spread the uh, snap ring here that we have. Here's the original one. We're gonna put a new one on here, but just to show you guys how these actually work, I have two little tabs here. We're going to meet them into those holes. Some fit into them better than others. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so it's also a little bit awkward when they're on their own, but spring it open so you will need a pair of snap ring pliers to actually accomplish this job so here's our clutch <clears throat> everything just comes apart here we have a snap ring in here and then we have a snap ring that will go on the outside of that so we need to remove this one here There are actually two different size snap rings, so that this one's bigger than the one that goes there. Then that sprocket will just pop out. You can see the ears that broke off. They should look like these lower ones. And we lost one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them, so. But the actual chain portion was fine. So, new one, old one. So we will put that back, install this in here. And we have cuts on the ears here, and that's what go here. And that's actually what broke it, is when this started wobbling, it took all the abuse, because there's really nothing but the snap ring holding it back here, so it just cracked the ears right off of that thing. So now we'll get our snap ring back on here. Sorry, it's a pretty windy day. Hopefully it's not too loud. We got our snap ring back on there. I actually already have lubricated this. Um, I use a, uh, you can use some type of grease as well, they say, but I use SAE 30. Um, oil and I already have pre lubed it. I'm going to lube it actually one more time before uh, we put everything back together. So I just have a little oil canister. So you can actually see this little pistol oil filler. So it's just full of uh, 10W30. Or, I mean, uh, sorry, it's full of SAE30. Actually, I'll show you guys what happened to the 
other one. See, that's where the snap ring goes around right here, that grooved edge, and that all <clears throat> completely broke away. So you can see the actual two failures on the, the clutch from the Hillard, which is, you know, it's supposed to be a better clutch altogether than stock stuff. So, but again, we're not dealing with stock stuff, but the Max Torque here does seem to be a better design. So we will see in the long run. <clears throat> but as for lubricating this bushing here, we are going to just put just a dab. We do not need a lot, and we're just gonna put it all over. Sorry, I gotta get a little pistol here primed. There we go, that's way more than we need. But that's okay at the moment. So just want it all over this thing. So they, it's like a friction type of oil deal is going on here. So I'm not a rocket scientist on that, but when you do not lubricate and oil one of these things, you will get failure real quick, relatively fast. So make sure you put a couple of drops or at least a drop <clears throat> on it each time you're done using your go-kart or whatever you have your, uh, your clutch system on. So that's basically ready to go now. Um, we're gonna put this together. Uh, we have a new snap ring right here for, this was the old one with the broken one. I even bought a second one as well. So if that breaks again, we have another, another deal, but we shall see. And you have a keyed way on the inside there, you can see. And we have a keyway on our uh, clutch here, so. Assemble accordingly. You'll be able to either way when you go to put um, everything together. It doesn't matter right now, to be honest with you. Uh, we will slip our disc around. Get our new snap ring. Pretty much look identical. We'll keep the old parts with the old stuff. Get our snap ring pliers here. holes on these so they're pretty small. Actually I'll do that because that's gonna potentially weaken that rip. And I'm thinking you can kind of tell why it breaks that ear off because there's like extremely uneven tension around that. And if you actually match up what is left on the ears, 
That'd be where it's not contacting it. So everywhere it contacts it, it looks like it just busted it right off because it's really only touching it on those spots. There, interesting. So, uh, yeah, everything's back together. That spins like that. That's kind of why I said you don't really need to actually match up the keyway at that moment in time. But everything just goes back together, matched up keyway. You can slide your touch. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me your experience with a Hilliard or a Max Torque um, or what you all would recommend me doing for the Predator Ghost engine on the uh, quarter midget here. And then we even have another quarter midget over there as well. So yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Rock on.